I can know and relate metric units to place value units in order to express measurements in different units. Now remember the first day of our metric module, I mentioned something about the system, the metric system looking a lot like our place value units. So today you're going to be able to learn about how it relates and compare the metric system to our place value system. Okay, as you see, I have the metric system and I have the place value system. Both systems are based on multiples of 10. So to go from one column to the next, you multiply by 10. So let's say that the meter, lead, gram, and liters are in the ones place. Multiply by tens to see and see how these metric prefixes relate to our place value chart. So if I have one, we'll just pick grams for now. If I have one gram, and I multiply it by 10, 1 times 10 is 10. So 1 decagram is the same as 10 grams. If I move one more column to the left, to the hectograms, I multiply by 10 again. 10 times 10 is 100. So 100 grams is the same as one hectogram. And if I move one more place to the left, I multiply by 10. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 grams is the same as one kilogram. Now you've been learning about that one all week. So you should know right now that 1,000 grams is the same as one kilogram. What did you notice happening behind the one every time I went one column over? Just look at this for a minute and just notice the pattern. Okay, next slide. These are pretty easy. Let's look at the pattern. If I multiply any number by 10, I just add a zero. Let's look back at that last slide. Notice when I moved one place to the left, I added one zero. When I moved the next place to the left, I added another zero. And then finally added another zero in the kilos. So if you notice, our number keeps getting bigger by tenths. Okay, let's go back. If I multiply any number by 10, I just add a zero. So if I start with one centimeter, let's start with one centimeter. How many places do I have to go to get to the decameters? So if I have decameters, I'm going to go ahead and just circle it because that's where I want to go. Every time I go one column to the left, I'm going to add a zero. So 10 decimeters. Well, 10 centimeters and one decimeter. And I have 100 centimeters in one meter, which we learned that this week. And then I'm going to add another zero. And I see that 1,000 centimeters equals one decimeter. How many places did I have to go? I had to go one, two, three. Three places. How many zeros do I have behind my one? Three zeros. These are pretty easy. Let's look at the pattern. If I multiply any number by 10, I just add zero. So if I start with one centimeter, how many places do I go to get to the decameter? Three places. One, two, three. I'm gonna add three zeros to my one. So 1,000 centimeters equals one decameter. Okay, we just went over that. I move three places, so I add three zeros. One decameter equals 1,000 centimeters. 
Okay, next slide. Let's look at another one. I have one meter and I want to go to hectometers. So let's circle the hectometers. How many meters are in one hectometer? I have to go over one place, two places. So how many zeros are going to be behind my one? Two zeros. So I have 100 meters in one hectometer. Okay. I move two places to go from meters to hectometers. One hectometer equals 100 meters. Okay, next slide. Use a chart to help you solve the following problems. 100 centimeters. You know what? We did this all week. Do we need the chart to know this? I don't think so. 100 centimeters equals how many meters? One meter. One meter equals how many centimeters? Still don't need the chart. That's 100 centimeters. Okay, go ahead, pause it. You can do the last two numbers and once you're done, go ahead and push play and continue with the slides. How can place value knowledge how can you use place value knowledge to compare? Now remember, when you compare numbers, you're saying greater than, less than, or equal to. So I have 724,706 milliliters. If you notice, I put one number in each place. So I end up with seven hectos. I could say seven hectos, couldn't I? And seven decas, or 72 liters with 760 milliliters. If I want to do it that way, how many liters do I have at the bottom? 724 liters with 706 milliliters. What's more, 72 liters or 724? Four liters. Okay, the mouth needs to be eating 724,706 milliliters because that's the same as 724 liters, 706 milliliters. Now, the problem set today, you're going to want to have your place value chart nearby. So, we have the centimeter. What number, what, or what actually measurement is 100 times as large as a centimeter? Do we need the place value chart for this? No, we don't. Because we know that the meter is 100 times larger than the centimeter. The gram so we start at the grams and we go up to a thousand. We don't need a chart for that either. What is 1,000 times as large as a gram? Kilogram. And we're just going to say kg, okay? So you start at the meter and you go to the kilometer. How many times as large? as the meter is the kilometer. 1,000 times. Okay. Now the next two, you're gonna wanna use your place value chart to help you. So you're gonna start the milliliter and you're gonna go three places to the left and see where you land. You're going to start the centimeter, and you're going to go to kilometer, and you're going to see how many places you moved. Remember, every place you move, you add a zero. Okay, fill in the units in word form. Let's look at 2A. 
429 is four hundreds, and then 29, well, where is the last number? The last number is in the ones place, so I have four hundreds and 29 ones. Four hundred twenty-nine centimeters is well. Let's see. What is the same as four hundred centimeters? Four hundred centimeters is the same as four meters. Twenty-nine centimeters. Two thousand four hundred fifty-six is the same as what? What place is a two in? It's in the thousands. So 2,456 2, is the same as 2,456 ones. What's 2,000 meters? Well, what is 1,000 meter? 1,000 meter is a, think about it. 1,000 meter is a kilometer, so 2,000 meters is the same as 2 kilometers. Okay, if I have 456 thousands, I have 456 in the thousands place, and 820 nine ones. Now, I've done almost this whole thing for you. I think you can probably do the rest on your own. It is pretty easy stuff. So, if you've been paying attention, you will do a great job.